I hate cruises. Now keep in mind I have only been on one cruise, but one cruise is enough to make you go, I hate this. I really fucking hate this. So, basically, this is a story about my first and so far only cruise as of this recording. Who knows, maybe I'll, I might get dragged into another one. Now, if you enjoy, like, a uh, good cruise ship, that's totally fine. You know, no problem. But me, personally, I did one, and it was more than enough to make me go, fuck this, I'm out. Now, for reference, this is a Disney cruise. And basically, um, this was for a good cause in that it was my grandparents' 50th anniversary. Yep, they'd been together for 50 years. And they decided that they want, they'd been saving up for years to get their entire family on a seven-day Disney cruise. And this was also in the, you know, in the month of Thanksgiving. So it would be a nice Thanksgiving present and slash early Christmas present to everyone there. Now, uh, when I'm talking, this is my mom's side of the family, by the way. This, so this is my mom's, gra uh, my mom's parents, my grandparents on my mom's side. Why did I need to say that? Just to be clear, I don't know why, but yeah. So it was a Disney cruise. Now, at this point, this is, like I said, this is the only cruise I'd ever been on. So we get on the boat. It's not on yet, but we're meeting everybody. We get, and for the whole time, we got to wear these stupid-ass shirts that one of my aunts made. And it basically pronounces to the, uh, to the entire people on the boat, I'm an idiot. Now, I'm all for family and junk, but I'm not that all for family. Like, the sole reason of why we had these... Uh, vacation shirts on was because, you know, my aunt, who I'm not going to name, my aunt, uh, my aunt in particular, um, specifically likes, you know, to one-up everybody, you know, she's one of those people, you know, one of those, you have one, no doubt you probably have one in your family too, of one-upping, you know, one-upping everyone else, and they try to play it off as like they're doing it for the family, but really it's more self-gratification. Don't, don't admit it. You know someone in that family. You know someone in your family who does that. Hell, you may even do it and not even realize it. Who knows? But I digress. Um, so when the boat finally gets going, we're all sitting down, we're all having what, you know, we're all having dinner, and I don't know about you, but first day I got there, you know, the first dinner I had, it really ro was wa uh, rocking back and forth. Like, you could feel the waves. Now, now most cruise ships do have stabilizers that keep, the, you know, that keep balance on the boat. But I guess they didn't kick in yet. So I was really, like, I felt the waves moving, so it was hard for me to eat. And, um, also, another thing that my father, you know, my dad decided, he looked over and saw my aunt was planning something. He was like, uh-uh, I'm gonna get to him first. <laughs> so, my... Uh, my dad pulls over one of the waiters and says, Hey, my, uh, my in-laws are, have, the, this is their 50th anniversary, so is there anything you can do for them? And he's like, yeah. They pull out this big cake for my grandparents, and, you know, they do this whole spiel, and it's beautiful, and, uh, now keep in mind, my grandparents, do, you know, they love, they love the family. They are the matriarch, you know, they are the heads of this family, of this side of the family. Their word is goddamn law. Um... And, but the thing is that they're not really, like, they're emotional, but they keep it, you know, it's, it's like a weird mix of apathy and, like, hiding emotion. Like, whenever I try to tell my grandfather something, he'll, his response 90% of the time is, oh. <laughs> like, he gets, like, he, he, like, yeah, that was his whole thing. I love the man to death, but, like, it's just a reigning apathy with those two. So... They do the whole spiel, they have this confused look on their faces, and I can see it in my aunt's eyes that, um, she is like, oh, they got me, and my, and my dad is like, he has this shit-eating gr grin, like, cause he knows he one-upped her. <laughs> um, cause he knows he, like, he got, he won this round. But anyway, so, since, you know, we're talking about my whole family here, um, the first day of the cruise, we didn't. None of us went to sleep, and when I say none of us, I mean me, my brother, my sister, um, and my cousins, uh, Jake and Logan. Now, Logan and Jake are two cousins. They're not brothers. They're also cousins, and we also have my cousin Shelby, who, for lack of a better word, is a way too much of a nice person. 
Like, she's one of those, and again, you probably know someone in your family like this, where they're essentially like, oh, I love hanging out with my mom, and I'm a good Christian girl or boy. She's one of those people. Like, I love, you know, she's my cousin, and I love her, but I can't spend more than five minutes with this girl, with this woman, or I'm gonna get sick to my goddamn stomach. So, yeah, that was the whole thing. That was, um... Um... Uh... That was, uh, my whole spiel, right? That's my whole spiel right there. So, we were all, like, the first few days, we were all kind of, like, looking around and, like, yeah, we need some friends. And, and me, being the, you know, the optimistic person at the moment, I was like, well, we got each other, I think that's enough. And they all gave me this look of, are you fucking for real right now? And I was like, yeah, I Im immediately regret this decision. So... My brother and I had been, you know, we did some on-off drinking. In fact, we had a we had a whole like six pack of beer ordered to our boat. And I will give the credit to I will give credit where credit is due. Um, these Disney people were on it. They were super friendly, super supportive, super nice. Every I know they're getting paid for that, and we even like knew that they, you know, they didn't have a lot of hours to sleep and what have you. They do this for months on end, so we. You know, we were trying to be nice as much as possible to them. I know a lot of other people on the boat were being real shitty, these people, and they were just doing their job. But my family and the other, you know, the other people in our family were trying our best to be really nice to these people because they earned it. They really do. Don't be a dick to, if you do go on a, gro on a cruise ship, don't be a dick to the people, okay? They stay on that boat for three months. They don't see land for three to four months. And they have to be, and they only get four hours of, like, less than four hours of sleep in between times, and they sleep on little cots. It's not great for them. So don't, like, word of advice, they don't, let's not be a dick to them. Now, another thing my brother had done, and he, keep in mind, he had just gotten out of, my younger brother had just gotten out of basic training. He is now, you know, he's now in the army. He's now, um, so he's in the army, and he just got out of basic training, and he also got out of college, and in college they taught him how to sneak beer on the cruise ships, because they don't let you get in anything on the cruise ship. So, what happened was, he managed to sneak beer, like, whole things of Jack Daniels into, uh, <laughs> you know, into the, onto the boat via, um, soap, like, old soap bottles. Like, he had drained and cleaned out the soap bottles and filled them with, you know, filled them with Jack Daniels. So you would see him with, like, a soap bottle, and you'd already know it's full of, you know, it's full of whiskey. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an amazing thing. So if you ever want to, like, get your, get your own beer on the cruise, think ahead, because they don't check soap bottles. You know, they don't check the contents of the soap bottles. At least I don't think they do anymore. So... Not saying you should, but it's a smart ass thing to do. Like it's a smart, like it's a clever way. Anyway, so uh, where was I going with this? So a few days later, I had done nothing but drink. You know, we had gotten to Nassau. That's the um, destination they go to in Nassau, and we we I had done nothing all day but drink. Just nothing but drink all day. My liver fucking hates me at this point. So, later that night, we were all together again at this dance club in the uh, cruise ship. And it, it stays open until, like, 2. So it's a nice little place to get drunk again and hang out. And then we hear all this shouting, hooping, and hollering. Like it was an, like it was an announcement of the Drunken King. So it turns out that, the, that we weren't alone. A family group of New Jersey and and Philadelphians, all from New Jersey and Philadelphia, come stumbling in like a drunken stampede from the Lion, like a frat version of the Lion King. So they all come shouting and hollering, they're fighting with each other, and immediately my brother goes, these guys look like cool guys to party with. So we all take, you know, we're all talking with them, we're all hanging out, I'm like, yeah, this is nice, I don't do well with people. Uh, with new people, especially people, you know, who are already shouting and getting aggressive because they, they were boasting and basically they were bragging the whole time of how they had ca they had snatched one of the of the uh, cast members on the boat and savagely beat him and made it look like, you know, and made it look like an accident. So I was like, oh, so you guys are just in, in, uh, inherently shitty. Okay. So in the midst of all this, if we're all hanging out, we're all having, you know, quote unquote fun, um... My, um, uh, my cousin, I'm not gonna say which one, 
my cousin started making out with the sister of the lead group member. Now, I didn't know the lead member's name, but they kept calling... His nickname was Bull. His, his nickname was Bull. And for good reason, because the dude looked like he eats bulls for breakfast. Now, like, I, uh, like, he comes storming over, grabs my cousin and pushes him back, and my brother is like, oh, shit. And I'm already, like, drunk at this point, so I'm full of piss and vigor. More piss than vigor, honestly. Because I, I don't, I've, fought, I've gotten into fights before, but I'm, like, three and nine at this point in my life in fights. I'm, like, three and nine. I do not win fights on a daily basis, ladies and gentlemen. So, but I'm full of, like, liquid courage right now, and I got my boys, my two cousins and my brother backing me up, and my sister's there, and we're, like, forming a defensive line in front of her. It's about to turn into the Battle of Thermopylae, but not like Spartans prepare for, you know, Spartans prepare for glory. It was more like it was going to be a fucking slaughter because there were seven of them, seven very large men who clearly look like they've killed people before, and the four of us. So... We were going, it was going to be a massacre, but my brother, like, chilled everyone out, we all got good, and we didn't really hang out with them after that. We did hang out with, uh, like, a couple of them here and there, but it was more like we didn't get around, like, the guys again. We didn't come near the guys again, because they were, like, like, later in the night, they would scream at each other, they would just start fighting for no reason. I guess Philadelphia, uh, like, Philadelphians are just naturally shitty people. I've always, I never really believed that stereotype until I saw these people. And, and, like, the day after, because, like I said, this cruise was taking place during uh, Thanksgiving. And they would play, they had this huge TV screen that would usually play Disney movies, which I would have preferred. But on, for Thanksgiving, they basically played all the football games. Uh, all the NFL games. So when the Eagles game was on, they were all congregated like it was a fucking uh, wicker man situation and they would like shout and scream and like throw beer bottles at the screen and then start fighting with each other randomly and laugh while they're doing it it was the weirdest thing like I guess Philadelphians are just naturally shit like I said I guess Philadelphians are just naturally shitty people um <laughs> so that was the whole cruise um I got my first hangover there that was a beautiful experience I think everyone you know um, I nearly I got killed by uh, by some Philadelphians, and the month after that, and the two months afterwards, my family didn't like, we all just kind of wanted time apart, because seven days on a boat with the same people over and over again, yeah, no, ugh, Nassau wasn't even that great, it was, like, it was too touristy, I will say that it, Nassau was a little too touristy. And again, you're stuck on a boat with people you don't know or people you don't like. Um, and then you go on the beach, which I'm not a beach person. And they even tell you, like, the private island that Disney owns, like, they they tell you outright, hey, we've, we, you know, we spot sharks out here on a daily basis, but, you know, since we put this sign here, we're not at liberty to, uh, in case of a shark attack, we, we're not at liberty to, you know be sued for because of this sign we warned you i'm like that's that's helpful so there was nothing to do but seven days on a boat in the middle of the ocean but friggin drink so that's the only plus side really so there you go guys just a whole disney cruise of fun and adventure right there for all to see yay us Anyway, so there you go, guys. I uh, hope you all enjoyed another epi um, another chronicle of uh, Zilla's world, and I will, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.